So I'm going to take you on a tour of what we have done on the house so far. So you can see it there behind me. So this is the end that looks at the ocean right there. And we're going to take you through and just show you kind of like what we have done. We don't really have all the walls up or anything like that, but it'll kind of give you an idea of the layout of the house and kind of the feel that we're going for as we build the house. And we're really excited to kind of take you along as we progress and do more to it. And so this is going to be our first walkthrough. So uh, let's go in. So this front of the house will have an overhang on the porch. But let's go inside and take a look around. This is coming in the front door. This will be a wall. We're gonna go down here to the mudroom. So we'll come down the hall. This will be a sliding door. We'll have windows in the mudroom. And then this will be a closet here and then all the coat hooks will go along here and there won't be a door it'll come right out and into the bathroom so we'll have our sink and our shower and a spare room and our school rooms this will be where the kids will have their school stuff but look at that window and that view it's so beautiful Okay, and then we're gonna come through, this will be a smaller door, into the kitchen. And we'll have the same view. So our um, sink will go here, our oven will go here, and then we'll have a big island. And then our fridge, and then this will be our pantry. So we've started kind of mapping out where the counters will go. All of our food and storage will go in there. And then this will be a patio door. This will all be covered porch. And then this will be our dining room. So the view from the dining room. And then these will be just big picture windows. So just like one, two picture window. And then wood stove is gonna go here. We'll have a little bench beside it. And then this is the living room. So this will be open to the upstairs and all through this main level, we're gonna have uh, these big logs on the ceiling and then also um, vertically as well. So this is the living room. It has a nice tall ceiling and that'll have a big window up there and then matching windows on this side. So, then let's go upstairs. We have mapped out yet at all, but essentially we'll have a couple bedrooms. We're gonna have like a little hidden area for the kids here that they can kind of read a little nook. Our laundry room will be up here, our bedroom and our bathroom. Then this is a bedroom. Um, that wall is gonna get pushed over but this whole wall is gonna be one big window. So we will have a gable end with logs. The logs will kind of obstruct the view a little bit, but it'll still be really quite beautiful. So this will be open to the downstairs of a railing. You'll be able to look out that window and see the water as well. So we tried to optimize the view pretty much anywhere you're standing in the house. Then we have windows there, big window over there. Come back down. So that's the front door there. You can come in the front door, you can go right out the mudroom. So when you come out of the house, we're gonna have a small backyard and then the side yard will be kind of like what we mostly use. And this driveway will take you all the way back to the barn. The barn will come all the way, we'll use this driveway all the way here. We'll come around and in front and then down the side. So this side of the house will also, so this is the kitchen side. It'll also have a covered porch, but you can see 
We have the view from the side. So this will be kind of like our side yard. And then the barn will kind of share, share a yard a little bit with the house. We'll be nice and close. We'll have our beef cattle and then my dairy cow in here, but we'll also have Daniel's office. So this will be a big pull up door. That'll be just a small door to walk through. This will be the garage. So we'll park our tractor in here. We'll have all of our meat in here. So either we're in a cold room or in freezers. And then the office will be on the second level above this. And this will be the cows. So we'll have an alleyway that goes all the way down. And there'll be a pen or pens on this side and on this side. So they will put their heads through. They'll eat in this clean space here and um, my dairy cow will go in this area here. So she will have, her and Janet will have a separate pasture that will go out. Janet is our retired dairy cow. So their little paddock will come out here. They will be separate from um, the beef cows. So this winter, uh, the cows will come in here. We'll separate them into two. So the bull will be separated, put with the steers, and we'll just have like our cows and calves on this side and um, basically they're gonna stay in here all winter. But in other winters, so after this winter, we are going to give them an area out here. So this is gonna be all cement out here. Next year, we're gonna pour cement and the cows will be able to come out and eat their hay or kind of lounge here. And the reason that we're gonna do cement is because it's really easy to clean up their manure so that they're not standing in it. Um, in the winter, they don't really need to be out on the pasture because everything is frozen anyways. So this just gives them an ability to go outside, have some fresh air, but then also not have to stand in mud or manure. So this is the barn. This will be all the way open to the ceiling, but then there'll be one little spot that is open to a second level over here for the office. So that is what the barn will look like. They're gonna have a, a really nice view too. Nice view for the cows. My absolute favorite thing about this place is the sunsets. So you can already see it's streaming in those windows there. And it's way behind these trees. So in the summer, the sun sets all the way over here and even over the water. So it's just so much more beautiful. But in the winter, it skips back. It'll be behind the barn, behind the trees. We don't see a lot of it in the winter. So that is our home tour for now. Um, we'll do another update as we get more walls on, as the roof goes on, as we put the logs on the outside, post and beam, and we'll do another walk through um, so that we can kind of take you along with us uh, for the whole journey of building our farmhouse and our barn.